But first, the latest medical news. Can a mom be allergic to her baby? There's a woman, Joanne Mackey. She developed this mysterious rash after she gave birth to her son, James. And it's a rare skin condition. I want to see if it's you can even pronounce it. Sorry to interrupt. Hemorrhoid gestationis. It is very rare, like 1 in 50,000 what they used to think. Now it's 1 in 10,000. I mean, if, if women didn't have enough things going on after they deliver, I mean, sometimes you feel like you're so going to you grow an antler. So you can cuddle with your baby if you no, have this? Well, or? it's very itchy and uh, painful. They're like blisters. It used to actually be called herpes gestationis because it looked like herpes, but it's not but it's associated not at all. Okay, no. um, it's not a virus. <clears throat> it is an allergic reaction, but not to the baby. It's to the amniotic. Well, the, the holding theory right now is that it's to the amniotic fluid. At least so moms okay. can feel like, I'm not allergic to my baby because mm -hmm. they want to bond. That's right. the real problem oh, with this. Yeah, that'd be amazing. Right. Imagine if you couldn't hold your baby. But now the baby's a little older and she she got over the rash, right? right? But women can develop all kinds of things after pregnancy because it is like a foreign body. You know, that's what we fight with the allergic rash. And that's one reason why I only have one. Because that, that, <laughs> that'll One was out. enough, huh? Yeah. Well, we're going to move on to something, I don't know if it's more lighthearted or not.